Welcome to the first edition of Productronica Web TV, the magazine of the world's leading trade fair for innovative electronics production. Our topic today, Industry 4.0. The target is the intelligent factory, which is characterized by flexibility, resource efficiency, and ergonomics. In addition, customers and business partners will be integrated into business and value creation processes. My first caller today is Gunter Lauber, CEO of ASM Assembly Systems. Mr. Lauber, nice to be here at your stand. The theme of Industry 4.0, is that a purely German matter or a global issue for you? Industry 4.0 is strongly driven from a German point of view. You need standards, you need interfaces, but it is a global issue because each production should be a smart production. In other words, they need transparency and information to take decisions quickly, respond to product flows faster, etc. So it's a global issue. And how's it looking now regarding the traceability of individual components? With Industry 4.0, there's also transparency in production. We have numerous software tools to ensure that. Data are recorded via sensors to achieve traceability and can respond quickly in the event of a recall. Thanks, Mr. Lauber. Industry 4.0, also the topic at the traditional CEO roundtable, a meeting between business associations and, of course, research. First impressions of the roundtable coming up next. Intelligent. Networked. Efficient. This is the industry of tomorrow. At the CEO Roundtable, leading minds in the industry discuss the near future of competitive production. Productronica has long been a leader with the topic of Industry 4.0. The whole thing has its origin in Productronica 2009, where there was a special show entitled Self-Organizing Production. Industry 4.0 is today already more than a bold vision. In some areas, the so-called smart factory has already taken shape. At Productronica, everyday solution initiatives can be seen for the first time. Industry 4.0, the fourth industrial revolution. The factory of the future is linked with the digital world and can feed information into it and retrieve information from it. At Productronica 2013, one can glimpse today what the future might bring. Production islands work self-sufficiently in the factory of today. The vision of the future of the automatic placement machine manufacturer, C-Place. The placement machines are networked with each other and communicate with an operator at the computer. So people have an overview of the complete production from their PC and they can control it and use it. People will never become superfluous as operators, according to Hubert Egger. You will see no manufacturing devoid of humans with Industry 4.0. To monitor the production is definitely still the task of people who actually step in to prevent deviations. Information technology is the key to communication in the intelligent factory. Viscom is presenting Quality Uplink, a tool for SPI inspection systems at Productronica, which for the first time captures the whole process and detects errors. This tool provides the user, unlike previous systems providing individual information, with generated results, thus it is intelligent. A core issue is that the machines talk to each other, control themselves and select from the information available about the product, which orientates itself to the application. The next step would be that the product says, I am like this and you have to do this or that with me. We're not quite as far as this solution yet, but the step has already been taken. With one touch to communicate with a whole production line. With the mobile line concept from ASIS, the customer has centralized access via tablet to all essential functions, which he otherwise can only get stationary on the system. Smart devices such as a tablet pave the way for a smart factory. In 10 years' time, machines will have an even higher intelligence than today. The operating concepts will be even more intuitive. And whether it is still a tablet or perhaps even a pair of glasses as predicted by Google, I want to leave that up for grabs at the present time. For sure, we're not stopping at tablets, but the topic will evolve further very dramatically. The intelligent networking of man and machine is no vision of the future anymore. Productronica 2013 shows us the first steps have already been taken. The CEO Roundtable has come to an end to great applause. And with me are two of the leaders of the discussion round, Kurt Siebers, the CEO of NXP Semiconductors, and Professor Wolfgang Walster from the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence. 
Professor, where do we see Industry 4.0 in 10 to 20 years? We will then have networked smart factories where all the machines can communicate with each other and the blank, the resulting product, determines how things go further with the production. People still play a big role, but they will work in collaboration with robots. So that's the research point of view, Mr. Sievers, and how does it look in industry then? Industry is evolutionary. Look back into the recent past. In the year 2000, we had a billion connected PCs. In 2010, only 10 years later, over 10 billion connected smartphones. I firmly assume that we can expect 50 billion networked machines and components in the year 2020. Exciting prospects, gentlemen. Thanks for your time. Industry 4.0 remains an exciting topic in the future. The smart factory is well beyond the stage of a simple idea. The advances in this area are enormous. Production systems learn to communicate with others and thus to produce efficiently. That's all for today. Tomorrow we meet again for the topic of automotive electronics with a detailed trade fair tour with Dr. Eric Meiser, Managing Director of the VDMA Productronic Association. So, see you tomorrow. Also, bis morgen.